बिसमीम् अलकम वेलकम टू साल खान यूट्यूब चैनल वे आर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस द टॉपिक्स ऑफ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ रेक्टिफायर्स हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर फुल वेव रेक्टिफायर वी आर डन दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट डायोड एप्लीकेशन इंक्लूडेड इन आर बुक द सेकेंड डायोड एप्लीकेशन दैट वी सी इज द क्लिपर सर्कट इट्स द क्लिपर सर्कट ओके नाउ बिफोर बिफोर वी मूव इन टू दी क्लिपर सर्कट एंड आई होप आई गॉट द स्पेलिंग राइट इफ इट्स रॉन्ग इट डजेंट मैटर इट्स नॉट इन इंग्लिश क्लास सो बिफोर वी मूव ऑन विद द क्लिपर्स let me rectify a mistake i made up in the previous video that was about the accuracy of the diode models that we use so i'll try to to write something over there or i'll comment there uh, while editing the video or whatever but let me tell you i hope you've watched the previous video if not so that's just leave it and if you have watched so in that case i told about the accuracy so the accuracy of the approximation of the analysis while using the diode models so the most accurate model is the original model that is the non linear model the accuracy of this is the greatest that is you have a barrier potential you have a diode resistance right then after this you have the uh, piece wise linear equivalent circuit piece wise linear equivalent circuit like this in which the graph you consider to have a barrier potential but you don't have a uh this no no sorry yeah and this one like this this is the graph right then you have the accuracy of the constant voltage drop model i believe whatever are the names i've just forgotten right now in this you have the graph simply like this and then in the ideal case the ideal case you directly have it over here so the thing that i want to say is that over there i mentioned they wrong the, the the greater than sign i i i mentioned it in the opposite direction so this is what i need to tell you which means that if you are solving a circuit and you employ the ideal diode the accuracy is least whereas the accuracy of the the best model the non linear that is the exact model that is the the the, the greatest so anyways coming to the to the topic of clippers today's topic the new topic as the name suggests it does what it clips off what is a clip off remove right so it means it would remove some something and what is that thing that is the input signal so let us uh, write down the definition from the book clippers are network uh, that employ diodes to clip away clippers are networks okay so this is the definition okay that the clipper circuit is a network that employ diodes of course this is used with the help of diodes to clip away to remove a portion of an input signal a particular portion without distorting the remaining part of the applied wave form which means you have to to remove a certain portion of the input signal and let go the rest this is what is called a clipper circuit the simplest example you've already seen is a half wave rectifier for example for example you have what you have a half wave rectifier in which you have what the input signal was given to be a sinusoid the input signal was a sinusoid and the output signal the output signal we only had the the positive cycle like this the negative cycle was clipped so this is this of course depends on the diode uh, configuration this was if the diode was connected in this direction and if you have the diode direction uh, the in the opposite manner so then 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 this is the case this is when the diode is connected in this direction 
anyway whatever the thing is the half wave rectifier you have what the input signal is a complete sinusoidal wave in the output you have one cycle the other cycle is removed similarly over here you have one cycle the other cycle is removed has been clipped off this is a clipper circuit half wave rectifier is a simple clipper circuit and that is a special case of a clipper circuit when the input to a clipper circuit is a sinusoid and this sort of error would you get you have a half wave rectifier the difference in a half wave rectifier and a clipper circuit is that in the clipper circuit you can have any time varying waveform for example we could have a square wave the output is like this then that is not a half wave that is also half wave rectifier but that is not maybe half wave. that is not a half wave rectifier half wave rectifier is rectifier circuit is solely mainly you can call that as well but mainly it is limited to the sinusoidal signals it is mainly limited to the sinusoidal signals so what do we have? We have changed the appearance of the implied waveform. We can do what? We use diodes along with resistors and capacitors to shape waveforms. We use what? We use diodes with resistors and capacitors to do what? To shape waveforms and those circuits then those circuits are called uh, uh, what wave shaping circuits wave shaping circuits as in this case you saw we, we we gave it a particular shape right yes now the clipper is a simple circuit that does what removes a portion lets the other portion B. Similarly, we would have the next would be a clamper circuit again diode with a combination of resistor capacitor where we would shift to another DC level. Whatever that is, we'll see that over there. For now, I believe that this is clear. Isn't it? It is. Then we have the classification. We have the classification of clipper circuits. So if you if you classify this. So based on the major classification is that you have series clippers and you have parallel or shunt clippers. The basic series or parallel, right? Then on this you have positive, positive clippers, you have negative clippers in both. Now what does this mean? So let's say first we, 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 we explain this. So in the series clippers, in the series clippers, the diode is in series with the load resistor. Diode is in series with load resistor or not lo load resistor, I will write the load because that could be a capacitor as well. That could be anything, right? Similarly, in the parallel, what does a parallel clipper mean? So this means that a diode is in parallel with the load. Fine. Then you have a positive clipper, you have a negative clipper. So a positive clipper means what? That positive portion of the waveform is clipped. Positive portion of waveform is clipped then you have the negative clipper so in that case the negative portion of waveform is clipped for example over here have a look this one is a, a negative portion has been clipped so this is a negative negative clipper over here positive portion has been clipped this is a positive clipper then the next classification is in each you have you have what you have biased clippers and you have unbiased clippers you have biased you have unbiased similarly i use a b for biased i use a ub for unbiased 
in each of them, right? Now, what does this mean? So, what does a bias clipper mean? We have an additional DC source along with the input. In biased, we have additional DC voltage source along the input source. Along the input source. Right? Yes. And similarly for unbiased, for unbiased, we have no additional DC source. Okay? No DC source. Right? Yes. So this is the, the classification that I was talking about. Then the next is in the biased. In the biased, you have positive biasing. You have a negative biasing. In biasing, you have positive biasing. You have negative biasing. In all, of course. This additional DC source we represent by a V reference. This is also called a reference source. We are okay. So in the positive biasing, what does this mean? Positive biasing means that the V R is greater than zero. And I will show you while explaining it. I will show you the, uh, the uh, about the polarity as well. Similarly, the negative biasing. The negative biasing means that the the reference voltage that is V R is less than zero. Yes, and I believe that this is it. This is it. Transfer characteristics. We have another important point. Transfer characteristics. So you may have heard the name somewhere this wherever the word transfer characteristic comes, this is the output this is the relation or the the characteristics between the output and the input so in this case we will be interested in the voltage levels we are mainly dealing with voltages so i would write over here that this is the output voltage versus the input voltage graph where generally this is any output quantity versus a generally this is any output quantity versus input quantity graph right which means that on the horizontal axis you have the input quantity and on the vertical axis you have the output quantity in this case we are interested in the voltage levels so I believe I finished this lecture, the lecture of introduction over here and I hope it is clear. Clipper, it will remove a certain portion of a form. Series, it is derived in the, it derived is in series with the load. Parallel, derived is in parallel with the load. Positive, if positive portion is clipped. Negative, if negative portion is clipped. Biased, if an external voltage source is present. Unbiased, if no external voltage source is present. Additional DC source, right? Positive biasing, if that, polarity of that is greater than zero. We'll understand it when we discuss it. Negative, when that is less than zero. Transfer characteristics, it is any output quantity versus the input quantity graph. From the next video, we see it separately. Let's say, for example, we have a video on positive clippers. So we'll see positive series clippers first. We'll see biased, we'll see unbiased, we'll see positive, we'll see negative, right? Then in the next video, we'll see negative clippers where we'll see biased, unbiased, and this and that. That is it. This is an interesting topic again. Easier to understand and very interesting. So, I finish this video over here. See you in the next one with the series clippers either positive or negative. Till then take care. Goodbye.